on? Okay, it's on. Um, hi QA, it's Sarah, and, um, I'm just gonna talk about stuff. Yesterday, my friend Christian and I were talking, he's flamboyantly gay and I love him, and I was mentioning that I was flirting with somebody on QA, and how she was so awesome. And he said, Sarah, a year ago, you wouldn't have said that. Not even to me. A year ago, you were shyly telling me that you liked girls as well as guys. And that made me think. In a year, so much has changed about me. I stopped caring what people think about, about me. So I'm going to tell you a bit about my journey. When I was in seventh grade, I had a friend come over to me and say, Sarah, are you gay? And I'm like, what? And she's like, you are gay, aren't you? I'm like what? You like women? Yes, I do. And she was like, okay, just stop being shy about it. Um, and that was really the start of it for me. That was the beginning of my journey. But it wasn't easy. In eighth grade, I had to deal with this horribly homophobic girl who hated me because my uncle and his husband were gay. And I was very for them. I mean, they're my family. And then that ended, and then in ninth grade, things started to change. I hit high school. I met other gay people. I suddenly felt comfortable being myself. But it was only this year that I really just opened up. It has to start with, um, I guess, really the not caring entirely with anime con. Uh, yes, I go to anime cons. They're amazing. And I was in the girls' bathroom and I was kind of just spacing out waiting, waiting for my friend Kayla to get out of the bathroom so we could go wander off together because my family has a buddy role. I had to have a buddy at all times at SAC anime because, and even fanime, because I suffer from anxiety, which, I don't know, it, it happens. It's not a bad thing, it just is. And I was kind of just spacing out, and there was this girl. And I was kind of looking at her cosplay and her costume, and she's like, hey, do you want to kiss? And I'm like, uh, sure? And she kissed me, and that's the story of my first kiss, which is kind of embarrassing, because, yeah, I got kissed in a girl's bathroom at an anime con by a crossdresser, which was pretty cool. And then stuff happened. That was in January. And then February hit. And then March hit. And I joined my school's drumline. Oh, which was a huge mistake. I looked like I was being beaten because I was playing cymbals. And I had to tell my PE teacher, look, no, it's okay. I'm not getting hurt. And so... One day I was playing cymbals. And I looked over at my friend, Lindsay. The girl who had told me in 7th grade to just open up and stop being shy. Nobody was gonna judge me. Or anybody who did judge me was an asshole and I could just forget about them. And I noticed these cuts on her arm and she was cutting. And she cut me off within a week. We had been best friends since six years. Since I was six years old. Since we were both six years old. She cut me off, told me I was the horrible person for caring. I shouldn't I shouldn't care that she was cutting, everything was fine. And my life became hell. It really became hell. Because not only was I having to deal with, you know, people calling me a nerd, calling me a dork, calling me a freak, I had to deal with one girl that I loved to death as a sister. Calling me worthless and... (coughs) Sorry, I'm getting over being sick and I don't have all my voice back. Calling me worthless and not a real friend and a, just not worthy of being human, not worthy of her, which hurt so much. And one day I just said, screw it. You know what? If I'm being called worthless, I can deal with other slang. So I came out to my school's GSA, even though pretty much if you meet me, you can tell that I am totally not picky when it comes to what gender you are, although I'm very picky when it comes to who you are, which makes me a bit weird, I guess. But, uh, I went to Fanime, 
and it was awesome. It was sheer unadulterated awesome. It was so cool. I got flirted with by all sorts of people. I got uh, stuff. I got an ocarina. I played it in like two days. I figured out how to play all the three scales. It, it goes for three octaves on it. It's a really cool ocarina. And I got, you know, I got to go to dance lessons, which is great because my family's broke and we can't afford dance and I've always wanted to dance. And then there was the black and white ball, where I was dressed pretty much in my outfit in my profile picture, which I used for a modeling gig, and I made it, but the girl just needed some help. I do a lot of gigs like that. And, <coughs> um, I saw this woman, and, well, I didn't actually see her. I kind of ran into her, headlong, straight in to her, and... I was so embarrassed. I blushed bright pink and I was like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Are you okay? And she was all like, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. And I kept avoiding her for the rest of the night because I was super embarrassed that I was running off with my cousin, Jasper, to go dance a tango to Phantom of the Opera. Then I'd run into her and then he'd run into me and it ended up being really awkward. <laughs> so awkward. And a little while... <coughs> <coughs> around 10 o'clock at night, two hours from the end of the dance, but about two hours into the dance, too, um, I finally got up the courage to ask her to dance, and she was like, what? And then later on, we danced, we, she led, and she kissed my hand, and she was all like, you're beautiful, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so, mmm, and... A little while later, at like 11, after I danced my feet off with all these different people, which was so much fun, she came over and she was like, I'm sorry, I was all like, what? When you asked me, because I'd actually been looking for you, I've been trying to work up the courage to ask you, ask you to dance all night. I'm like, <coughs> <coughs> I'm like, I'm going to cough in your face. No, um, I was like, oh, that's really sweet. And we have really hit it off. Unfortunately, I gave her my email and then I think she lost it because she hasn't emailed me yet. And I was finally, I, I got a huge crush on her in knowing her for two hours, and I went back to school on Tuesday, and I told my friend Sasha, and then I told my friend Christian, and then I told Jesse, and then I told like half the band, and it was just like, oh my gosh, I'm good at flirting with girls. And I just stopped caring what people think. I mean, I post about it on Facebook, and Facebook is full of just like, Wah! I shall be holier than thou as you are doing, talking about your life. Because obviously gays are wrong. It's not cool. Thank you, Jordan. Anyway, but, um, finally I just got up the courage to join QA. It was actually kind of a huge deal because my mom is very much convinced that I am entirely straight. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys are nice, but I will, girls, girls are so girls cleavage i like cleavage who doesn't like cleavage except for gay guys i should know some of you guys actually like cleavage i have a friend who loves cleavage it's like i love your cleavage i'm like you're gay anyway um so i joined qa and suddenly i've been a lot open more open about myself i have found a huge boost in confidence which got shot by the whole Lindsay thing and now i'm here and I've been flirting with this really amazing girl on QA. Sorry, we've been kind of spamming up some threads for that. <laughs> and, um, apparently I'm her lady, which is kind of cool. I've never been somebody's lady. I've been somebody's girl, and I've been somebody's girlfriend. Thank you, Kyle. You were a great boyfriend for an entire year that I wasted on you. As you know, I love you. But, um, that's my journey. Here I am. I'm happy to be me. I'm comfortable in my own skin when it comes to being pansexual, to being attracted to women, to being attracted to men. Although guy people just keep your pants on right now because I don't, I don't, I like pants. Keep your pants on, please. Pant, pants, pants stay on with me. Unless you're Zach, but that means you're my stepbrother. Yeah. And that's my journey. 
mm, I went from being totally closeted and being like, well, I don't know, I know I'm not wrong, I just don't know how to go about saying this, to being like, whatever. I'm not gonna go, I'm gay, and write it across my chest, or have a shirt, or whatever. Because, in my pers- uh, my opinion, sexuality is nobody's business but my own. Or your own. Or whoever you're dating. And I can't wait for next year, in high school, with all my gay friends, and gay stuff, and- and girls. <laughs> I'll see you all. Um, I do shoutouts. But I'm bad. I don't do shoutouts. I did shoutouts once to a different website, and I forgot half of people's names, and it was embarrassing. Yeah. I'm bad with names. So, see you all. Keep being awesome. Keep, keep being beautiful. Keep being funny, smart, sexy, all that. Keep being yourself. To everybody who's having a hard time out there, which there's a lot. You're awesome. I love you. I don't even know you. But I know I love you, because I love people. And things are going to get so much more awesome. Okay, now I get to turn this off. How do I do that? New computer! Yay! Aww.